Commit yourself to God in whatever you do and He will establish your plans. Proverbs 16.3 Hello and good morning everyone. Respected principal, director, the host, our keynote speaker, lectures, invitees and to all my student friends. My name is Inato Aye from the Department of Commerce and Management and I would like to start off by congratulating the page of 2021 for finally making it and proving yourself worthy despite the pandemic. Yes, I know some of you are disappointed that your results weren't up to the expectation or you weren't able to fully utilize and see the opportunities that were given to you in the past three years time. But as we take a step ahead and enter a new world of competition, I would like to tell you, regret is something you shouldn't be carrying forward. A new competition requires a new you without regret but with full of confidence, zeal and without fear. Make sure that you leave a mark when the race ends. My journey at Tetzel started five years back with a prayer under the mango tree. I whispered, God, if this college is meant to be the one that will take me far and help me reach newer heights, please let me be selected. And standing here today with my achievement, that prayer has certainly been answered. My fellow brothers and sisters, pray and you will see that it can work wonders. Five years at Tetzel College is much more than a blessing, I would say. And for that, I think the first credit goes to my parents for they believed in me and gave me the encouragement and wings in everything I do. I'm also indebted to the college for giving the opportunity to thousands of students like me to enroll in this first year at a technologically advanced college. That so has been a positive turning point in my life and I would like to thank the heads of the college for that. My teachers, you all deserve nothing less than an Oscar for the work you have done in uplifting and showing the path to the futures of tomorrow. And for that, we send it to you. My friends, I thank you all for the memories that we have shared together. I will forever cherish it in my heart. I just want to tell you all, be who you want to be. It doesn't matter if it's big or small. And finally, to my granddad, who didn't see me achieve this, this one's for you, Grandpa. You know, I'm reminded of a story narrated to me by my dad, where a man was once returning home in his car when he suddenly met with an accident which resulted in his car turning upside down. Now, since the man had sustained no injury, he came out and started praying continuously. God, please help me. Help me from this situation. After a few moments, God answered, Son, I heard your prayer and I'm willing to help you. But how can I if you don't put the effort yourself? Upon hearing this, the man put all of his effort and was able to turn the situation. What I learned and what we can learn from this story is that God is ever willing to help us. But most of us, like that man in the story, we are not willing to put the effort ourselves. Remember, your relationship with God is 50-50, like that of partnership in business, where both parties contribute the same and also suffers the same. Now, since I'm from Commerce and Management Department, I would like to give an honest answer to the question that most people have asked me. Are you good in math? Am I good in math? The answer is no, I'm not good in math. In fact, I'm someone who clearly stands standard with just 32 in math. But have you ever felt like Einstein for a moment after solving a mathematical question? The beauty of learning is that it is not completed until you reach the end. And this is the reason why I don't give up and close my book just after solving two to three lines. My marks are secondary compared to what I learn and what satisfies me. To end of my speech, I would like to give a message representing my six semester page to all of our parents and our loved ones that says, this is not the end, the best is yet to come from us. Thank you.